What's up everybody, it's Wombat. We are going to be looking at a bow build today that I consider to be pretty much the best in the game right now. It's what I'm playing. Uh, we're going to go through it piece by piece, giving you an explanation, what we're doing, um, and just all of the stats that surround it. So we're starting off with the free syncretic bow. Uh, it does everything we want it to do, being a bow dot build. Um, where you are Arboreal Attunement, that was a mistake, it should have been Void, uh, Enchanted, and Jagged for the Bleeds. We are splitting damage to Void, uh, as well as having the um, Augmented Abyss to get the dots off of that. Life Taker is absolutely necessary if you play uh, Bow right now. It is amazing. Getting this stack of Disintegrate on every single shot of your weapon and rending people and putting extra dots on them is crazy. And I have upgraded mine with Putrefying Scream because Scream's amazing. For my gear right now, I'm running the Shirking Heal set. Um, it's super broken. You can heal for, you know, 6,000, 7,000 health if people get near you. It's a lot harder to use on ranged, so I'm considering possibly changing off of it, and I'll go over another option. Um, plus, they're nerfing it tomorrow with Ankh going down uh, to 25%. I still think it's going to be really good, but with ranged, you have to dodge through the projectile that's being shot at you, rather than when you are fighting somebody in melee range, you kind of just dodge if they swing at you and you get the, the heal. So it's a little harder to proc. It's still super, super busted when people get near you to try to melee and kill you. Um, so I am using the old, uh, the old Shirking Heal set. It has health and refreshing, which are my number one and two perks that I need. Health is the best perk in the game. Refreshing because bow cooldowns are really long. Um, so I have three pieces of refreshing in this gear, one refreshing evasion, um, and then I roll the, I roll the pair of gloves. Uh, that has Shirking Heals and Rain of Arrows because I wanted Rain of Arrows. Um, and I put Void Harnessing on it because I was thinking of going Void, har void Harnessing health on all of my gear, but I ended up wanting to be refreshing, so wasted roll. Um, but it's a piece of gear that has the perk on it that I want. The leather pants are a must. They're just better than everything else out there right now. Uh, when you compare these to the boots... Uh, this is your other option for the shirking gear, which, by the way, if you're running a melee build, I would absolutely run the tumbler boots. Uh, but when you're running not melee, the attuned leather pants are just better. They give you, in this build that I'm running, they give you a 5% damage boost. You get 5% more refreshing because you can grab uh, the 25 focus stat. And you can also, you get elemental aversion instead of physical aversion, which is just a better skill. Um, so these are just better than running anything else that's out there right now uh, for bow. I tested all of it. I did all the numbers. It's better. Um, going into the jewelry, you're going to have Ankh. Um, it's with Shirking Heels. It is just 100% broken. Um, and your Ankh, you should have stamina, stamina Recovery on him because Stamina Recovery is also amazing. Uh, this is the absolute best ring you can have if you are playing Void Dots Bow Build, which is probably the best bow build in the game right now. It's free. It comes from the uh, invasions. It's, you know, at the end of an invasion, you get a box. You have a chance of two items, uh, this being one of two items that can drop for you. And then you can roll it up here at the kiln, and I went with Mortal Empowerment because I am a Mortal, I am a mortal Empowerment enjoyer. Uh, I don't like Invigorated Punishment. I like running around with 10 stacks and just lighting people up. And then the last one you can run is either the Heavy Earring or the Life Loop. They are both the exact same thing. They're Healthy Toast, Refreshing Toast. You can make them with Materia uh, that you get from the Season Track to roll your best piece. Uh, both of mine ended up with Nimble. Uh, I run one or the other depending on, you know, which build has too much con because it can screw with Magnify and it's it's terrible. Um, if you've dealt with the Magnify thing before, especially if you're using the leather pants, it's tough. 
Uh, so in my other build, I'm using it because it just works with all of my stats to get me where I want to be because I use a strength deck split on my melee set. So life loop or heavy earring, nimble I think is the number two perk. I would rather have regeneration on this because it pairs well with Ankh. So that is the gear I'm running. Let's take a look at stats. So important things to note here. Um, this is not my actual stat breakdown. When I go into OPRs, I get an extra six points, six points, six points, because these are not 700 pieces yet. You can roll them up. I just haven't done it because I'm saving my, uh, my orbs to see how much they actually really kill shirking heels with the updates. So this would actually be less and I would put those points into decks. Now, when you look at strength, it seems like taking 50 strength would be a no-brainer. It's 10% heavy attack damage. Uh, this is just broken right now. It does nothing if you take the 50 points in strength. Uh, you get the 10% increased damage on the 25 perk. So the 25 perk right now is 5% light attack damage and 10% heavy damage. So there is absolutely no reason to go to 50 strength right now. Um, Whenever they fix this problem, you're going to want 50 strength. Take it out of your decks. Since I am splitting damage, uh, I also go into int a little bit. Uh, the 5% increased crit to random crits and backstabs, sure, it's good. 5% um, damage to targets inflicted with a dot. That is going to be every single thing that you shoot will get you 5% extra damage. It's awesome. Now there are two other perks here, 10% damage to light and heavy elemental attacks. That's gonna be basically half your damage, gets 10% buff and 15% to element, elemental damage. So again, half your damage is getting buffed. I ran the numbers on it. These just don't make sense. Um, despite popular belief right now, uh, dexterity does scale linearly. So you can go up to 500 decks and you get the same amount per point. Um, I've heard people saying that, oh, the damage numbers drop off when you get up to a certain point and there's no point in going higher. That's not true. You can go shoot a target dummy, shoot one of your friends, graph it out. It is a linear line of damage. Um, the difference here is that this here, the 50 and the 25 plus the dex, this is what gives you your best damage combination. You want to have the int and you want to have the strength at these numbers. You can pour the rest into decks. You can see I added some focus to get a little bit of extra cooldown reduction because I already get the bonus off of my leather pants. 150 con, there's no reason to not run 150 con at this point. Uh, it gives you the health, it reduces your critical damage, and it just gives you the extra health for shirking heals to basically do its job. And then finally, on the bow, I run poison shot. I run all of it. Uh, I run Rain of Arrows, and I run Explosive Arrow. Do I need to run every single one of these perks right now? No, you could change some of these around. You can do whatever you want. Um, this is just how I have it built right now. I'll probably play, a lot, play around with it a little bit more. As I get more perks, I may, I may give up uh, the Explosive Arrow. It's a dot. I like it because it works with the build but pen shot is really good. So there's some play here. I would never give up Rain of Arrows. I would never give up Poison Shot with this build. Um, and this is in strictly because it is a dot right now. Uh, the Void Gauntlet, you know, I, I run Tether, Scream, and Orb. Uh, any of these skills, you know, they might be wrong. Don't listen to me. Just run these three perks, pick whatever you want. All you're doing is switching to your Void Gauntlet and throwing these three abilities at people and then switching right back. So whatever you find useful on these other abilities, go for it. So that's going to be it. That is my bow build. Um, it is absolutely dominant. <laughs> if anybody gets near you, you just dodge through their attacks and heal. You can 1v1, you can 1v2, you can 1v3 people. It is an insane build. Um, you know, make sure you've got your regen serums as well. Uh, one other item I will note is that when they do finally nerf shirking heels into the ground, 
I am going to go to the Empress Zhao set, which is health and refreshing, and I'm going to put void damage on it. And I will be running health, refreshing, void damage um, with probably the leather pants. Uh, Enchanted Ward is a another good option. You could run health, Enchanted Ward, void harnessing. If you're not looking for the refreshing with bow, I think refreshing is useful, so I would rather run that. That's it. Thanks for watching.